Absolutely. Well, that takes us to African-American history uh, in middle and high school, um, African-American studies, which, you know, in my personal humble opinion, I already was of the belief that there was not enough history being taught um, after African diaspora in our schools and to now reframe history or an attempt to reframe history um, is really appalling. And so can you tell us more about the these new Florida standards um, for middle and high schoolers and what the impact is? Uh, the, thank you, absolutely. The initial catalyst uh, for this discourse and quite frankly, uh, this cacophony and rancor uh, did not start with the most recent uh, release and adoption of the standards for social studies. Uh, you may recall several months ago, there was a, a, a national discourse uh, regarding the state of Florida's contemplation of not offering AP African American history. Uh, subsequent to that particular uh, discourse, uh, that was uh, diminished and that has been uh, allowed. But again, the AP American history course and related assessments, those are voluntary. Those are voluntary. Those are obviously courses that reflect college credit. Uh, those are courses in which our uh, middle, in, in very rare cases, but quite frankly, our high school students, in some cases, choose to take. Uh, but the standards that we're recently talking about right now are standards for middle and, and, and high school students that are not voluntary, that they're mandatory, and that they're standards that are not uh, reflective of totally uh, Black history. They're part of the social studies curriculum. And the social studies curriculum speaks to uh, middle and high school students. What has gotten uh, a major uh, level of concern and obviously offense, I will say offense, uh, not simply from Black people, but from all people who are concerned about truth, who are concerned about access, and who are concerned about efforts to bring us closer together, not further apart, uh, is a section that's reflected in the Black history uh, section of the social studies standards. And again, the Black history component is 9.2% of the social studies standards. So it's not an entire curriculum. You have a social studies curriculum that covers a gamut of areas from civics, from economics, from financial literacy, uh, from, the, from the Civil War. But you do have a section that is framed for Black history, which represents, again, less than 10% of the entire social studies curriculum. That being said, a very important 10%. And I believe as a lifelong educator, and I've said publicly, we have no margin of error for inaccuracy. We have no margin of error to plant seeds of division, of disinformation, of misinformation, and of any notions that will uh, suggest in any shape, form, or fashion that one of the most horrific atrocities known to mankind, which is the uh, African slave trade and the slave chattel, uh, was okay, that there was some silver lining. And I think some of the language in the uh, section is what has caused this degree of, of rancor, this degree of, 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 of offense, and this degree of discourse uh, throughout the state and quite frankly, as you see, throughout the nation. And I will say uh, division and rancor and discourse that transcends race, transcends color, transcends gender, transcends policy, uh, and again, mm -hmm. uh, individuals on either side uh, have expressed concerns regarding this. And obviously, as a lifelong educator and a parent, I would be concerned as well. 